So to customize the Stanford Basic theme, you can actually get to that section through this menu here. Administration menu. So let's go into our themes and configure Stanford Basic. And we'll walk through just a couple of options. This won't be exhaustive, but these are some of the page elements that you can display. You can choose whether or not to just use the Stanford block S with the tree or use a different logo. Same thing with shortcut icons, which is the fave icon up here. We're in the administration theme right now, so you see the Drupal one, but it's a block S for your main theme. I'm going to go ahead and change our color palette to sandstone, so you can change what types of colors you use for your fonts and borders and things like that. I'm going to leave this at a fixed width layout. Um, actually, I'll change this to a different sidebar width just so we can see what it is. It may not show up immediately because we don't have any blocks in that sidebar. Let's give ourselves a little bit more padding above the header. I'm going to change my background image to a photo image, and so I'm going to upload an image that I have here. You're probably going to need to create this image or download an image from the web or create an image in Photoshop, take a photo somewhere. I'm going to have it show the borders and I'm going to use rounded corners because it's not 2001 anymore and we can have CSS with rounded corners. So I'm going to save that. And then we'll go ahead and take a look and see what changes that made. So now we see we've got our rounded corners, we've got our sandstone color palette, and we've got this background image as well. And the nice thing about this background image is that it will scale as you display your site on a larger screen as well.